I'm Barry Irwin Brophy, and this video is a continuation of my voice acting series for Cypher Almassy from Final Fantasy VIII. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. If you'd like to see voice acting added to a Final Fantasy VIII remake, remaster, or a Dissidia NT character edition. In today's video, I'm going to discuss my favorite scenes of Zypher in Final Fantasy VIII. This video's commentary focuses specifically on the Seed Exam mission with Zell, Squall, and Zypher as they invade the town of Dalit to destroy a satellite communication tower. Personally, this is one of my favorite missions from Final Fantasy VIII. This early mission truly encapsulates the mission of the Garden Program. After making it to the sea docks in Balam City, Zypher, Zell, and Squall prepare to embark on their seed exam. Small talk is exchanged between the characters, and Zypher appears distracted, bored, and attempts to bully Zell once more. He's done this exam before and failed multiple times. Like in the introduction movie, Zypher has a thirst for fighting. He has these insecurities to prove himself and the arrogance to bully weaker students. As the Garden Assault Crafts burst through the seaside barriers from the invading Galbadian forces of President Vinzer Delling, Zypher charges forward with the other Seed students. Their mission is to fight their way to the central square and wait for reinforcements. Zypher, as abrasive as ever, cares more about fighting soldiers and frequently leaves Zell and Squall throughout the battlefield as we journey further and further into the city. Zypher's ultimate lack of leadership is further reinforced in the central square, where he is too distracted with finding the next enemy to kill to not even realize that this wandering dog in the area was trained to alert Galbadian forces of the Seed's presence. Zypher cares more about the glory of the fight and the honor he receives as the most dangerous mercenary at the Garden. His lack of leadership on the battlefield will further be exploited by the villains as we progress through Disc 1. He doesn't think through his actions, which makes him the perfect target for exploitation by a more cunning enemy. He's a loose cannon of a soldier with his emotions, and his ultimate failure in this exam will further fuel his path to the dark side of villainy. Thanks for watching and enjoy the voice acting in the next video.